first thing you want to do is go into Zoom and start a new meeting. It's a meeting of just you. Well, hey. You guys are like, whoa. This is Summit. He likes to say hi. He's with me here today showing you guys how to do this. Anyways, so it'll come up as you on screen since you are the only one in this. This option will be great if you're doing a presentation, uh, if you need to show a website on how to do something, how to log into something. This is your best bet. From here, you're going to come down here and see this record button. Click record. Unmute yourself because you do... <laughs> You want the sound, that is the whole point, and I do recommend having your video on so that people can see you talking and it just engages people more and makes it a little bit easier for them to understand when they see a person talking to them. So once you've hit record, then you're going to come down here to where it says screen share. You want to click on that, and my suggestion would be to already have something pulled up that you want to show. So let's say we want to show somebody how to find a Toastmasters club. It's going to pull up that page, just like as if you were in a Zoom meeting, right? But this way you're getting this visual and this audio. So I wanna help somebody find a club. I pulled up the website and I can walk through and talk about it as I'm doing it. And you can show them your exact method, the exact steps as if they were sitting there with you looking at your screen. But then you've created this video format so they can come back and do it again. Once you have created a video, you would stop sharing the screen, right? You'd come back here, you could say your final words, wrap it up, tell them if they have any questions, where they can go, yada, yada, yada. You come down here, you'll hit stop recording. And then once you close this program out, so click end meeting for all. It's going to come up like this and say converting meeting recording. Okay, once it's done converting, you'll get this screen right here. You'll see there's an audio only file, a playback option, which I don't even know what it is to be honest, and then this video file here. Once you open this up, you can trim this. If you have QuickTime player like I do right from here, if I click trim, it's going to bring this little yellow option so I can come in, trim, a little bit of it maybe at the end I wanted to cut it off right and then you would hit trim and then you can come up here and do save title it whatever you want save and then my recommendation is go over to YouTube and upload the file you'll see right up here there's this little camera icon you want to click that it says upload video it says select files or you can drag and drop it in there as well I'm gonna hit select Go find that video we just had, open that bad boy up, and it is going to upload. After this, you can see you're gonna type in the title and a description preview, oh, boom. You also can choose a thumbnail once it's uploaded. When it's finally done uploading, you would click next until it gives you the option to publish. Once it gives you that option, there'll also be a URL you can copy and paste so that you, well, it's actually right here, right? So this video link right here is the link that you can copy and then share that via email. Put it on your Facebook page. You could do anything with that link like you normally would share it. And then that way people can find and watch this video. So that's really the basic of it. Once you've uploaded it to YouTube, you can just share that out with anybody. It, I think, is probably the fastest way to get your voice and a screen recording done all at once, just as if you were doing a Zoom meeting. You could also do this with some presentation slides if you want to make a video out of that and have you up in the corner. That was the wrong way. You get the point. And the slides on the page as well. Get your dog. I'm Amanda May Gray, this is Summit, and we hope this was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments below any questions you guys have, and I hope uh, this helps you. If you have questions on Canva, I've got some tutorials on that as well. If you like this, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you around the interwebs.